Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective readings. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hi Virgo, happy Halloween. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right, Virgo, so we're going to get into your week ahead, we're going into November 2023. We're going to see what the messages are for you going into this week. Oh, okay, so you're starting off with the Seven of Wands. So it looks like you're going to have to defend yourself from something this week. Something's coming up for sure where it looks like you're going to have to stand your ground defend yourself um, fight back on a position that you your beliefs or stand up for yourself what it is that you want what you believe not cave not let anybody bully you into doing anything or saying anything or believing in anything um, stand up for your convictions this week okay let's see what's going on here what is this about what is this about for Virgo for this week? Hmm. Looks like it has something to do with love for sure. Um. Hmm. Looks like someone's trying to come in and make some kind of a love offer, but you're being, it looks like you're being forced to choose um, or make a decision about love. Um. You might be undecided. You might be, it looks like maybe being forced. It's like you're being pushed, not so much forced, but maybe being pushed. And I don't know, you're pushing back on it. It looks like you're standing your ground when it comes to this, it comes to love. It's almost like you don't want, you don't want it. It's like you just don't want the offer hmm that's kind of it's interesting I wonder what's going on with that you do have the devil here so it might be a toxic kind of energy that's showing up this week some someone maybe love bombing or um, Capricorn energy the, the devil oh it just kind of feels like it's unhealthy like something or some type of energy or someone very possessive, like a possessive energy, someone who's addicted, or um, it just keeps coming in, and like maybe you're setting boundaries, you know, and it just feels like you have to stand up for yourself in regards to this energy this week. Like someone's pushing, or the energy's pushing against you, or pushing on you. It, for some of you, it may not be a person. I mean, like it, it's it's an the the devil can represent an addiction, the addiction pushing on you, tempting you. You're having to fight back against this this week. It's heavy. It feels like it's a very heavy energy for you this week. It could be food, it could be alcohol, it could be a person, place, or a thing. You know here have some here come in i want you you know you know trying to kind of entrap you yeah tough so i feel like for that energy this week be aware that it's trying to creep up on you like hold fast hold steady stand your ground get your boundaries in place just say no virgo just say no <laughs> I learned it by watching you. I learned it by watching you. Do you remember that commercial? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so just say no, Virgo, to whatever it is that has that devil toxic energy. Okay, let's see what else is coming up for you this week, Virgo. Okay, well, that looks good. So you've got the Ten of Pentacles, so long term security, financial abundance. Let's see what else. Oh, oh wow. Okay, you've got the Two of Cups. Wow, and the Four of Wands. Fantastic. So, 
could be connecting with someone this week, a friendship or a romantic relationship excuse me, a relationship that goes long term, a reunion with someone, some family members, some friends, there's a secure job. Um, some of you are returning to an old job or your job wants you back, contracts being signed, re-employment I'm hearing, re-employment with a former company. Um, but as far as love goes, so let's look at love at first. I want to say that you could be meeting someone and this is going to be your long-term partner for sure it could be a leo could be a pisces could be a water sign uh, some of you are reuniting having a reunion with someone reconnecting with an old flame some of you could be meeting at a work party especially around the holidays as well coming going forward could be at like a birthday party or a holiday party in November for sure, but something could be coming up this week. Yeah, and I definitely feel like as far as work goes, there is a connection at work for sure, but there's long-term security. So this, if you have a job, I, I feel like for work, it feels mostly like you're going to be some of you are going to be reconnecting or going back to your old work, whether it's the actual employment place it used to work at or just back to that industry, back into that line of work. Okay, let's see what else you have coming up this week. I can't believe it's only been six minutes. I feel like I've been talking for like 20. What's going on? Does anybody feel like time is just going very quickly lately? Okay, let's see. All right. So you've got Temperance. And you have the Page of Pentacles. And you've got the Page of Cups. Wow. There's definitely communication going back and forth between you and another person as well. Um, there's an apology happening. There's also some communication about some new ideas and plans. There's Sagittarius energy here. <laughs> Did you hear my grandson? He just goes, uh-oh. So for some of you, that might be an uh-oh, not a Sag. Uh-oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. I don't know if you heard it. You might have to go back and listen. Uh-oh. <laughs> Even he knows what's up. Some of you are like, no, not the Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> for some of you I know it's fine so um, yeah there's kind of like a blending energy happening here with a, possibly with a Sagittarius for some but um, I see two people coming together to have some conversation this week there's going to be some text messages or phone calls I don't feel like there's a meet up I do feel like there's like conversation through text or phone calls and there's some spiritual talk definitely um just going to be talking about the angels, talking some spiritual conversation. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, and then this could be with a friend. This could be, you know, it's just another human being. It's just another conversation. Some apologies, some plans, talking about some ideas, some mild flirting. So for some, it could be a little bit of affection involved. Um... I don't know what the apology is about. So, there might have been something going on between you and another person before where some conversation comes up and a little bit of apologies start happening or something gets thrown in there. But, I don't know, I kind of get a sense, like, with temperance. Even when I look here, I feel like... see how those two cups are there this kind of gives me this impression that you and this person um, are kind of meant to engage with one another like you mix up really well you know what I mean like you vibe really well your energies with those two cups the water flows the conversation flows real nicely between the two of you and maybe it has in the past but I don't know you two kind of like you have some some stuff in common 
the conversation just seems to like you get each other this could be something new though I will point that out this could be something new you could be like having some conversation with another person this week two two people have a new conversation so if we take out the apology this could be like a little bit of talking and you guys are kind of like gelling you know you're gelling yeah yeah little flirtation little talking about money talking about all kinds of stuff a little start of something new for some of you or a restart okay could turn romantic could turn romantic let's see what else is going on here for you <coughs> see what else is going on here for virgo uh oh You have the six of wands. Wow. You have the sun. Wow, that's double success. Oh. oh. Okay, so this is pretty obvious. Like, I feel like Virgo, um, you have success like all around you. And this week, it's really important for you to get out of negative thinking. Um, so... Maybe this is advice, I'm not sure, but if you could stop and smell the roses, make a gratitude list, and kind of just like step out of just kind of like take an objective view of where you are and find the silver lining in your life. Start counting your egg. Counting? Is it count your chickens? <laughs> count your chickens? Count your eggs? <laughs> Oh my God, what's happening to me? <laughs> count your chickens, everybody. Just start counting your chickens and be grateful for your chickens, okay? <laughs> count your eggs. Just whatever. Just start counting your blessings, okay? How about that? Just count your eggs. If you want to count your chickens, count your chickens. I don't give a fuck. Just count. Just count the things that are that are that you have that are great. The wonderful, positive blessings in your life, right? And you will see that you are surrounded with success, that you have all of the blessings. I feel like that's the message. Because sometimes we're too focused on the things that we want and we desire than being grateful for what we have, right? And that's such a human thing because humans always want more. And when we're always in a place of desire, we are never satisfied. Rather than just being content with what we have, sure, it's okay, we want to... Oh, sure. Like, you know, we want to upgrade. We want to upgrade. I mean, I think it's okay to desire things, you know. You want to be healthier. Sure. You want to fit in your clothes better. Sure. You want to get a new car. I mean, those little things. But, like, just be careful. You have to put a cap on your desires, I think. Don't you think? Like, if we're always waiting for five o'clock, five o'clock never comes. You know what I mean? It does, but then it turn, it's five o'clock again later. Like it, it never stays. It's always five o'clock twice every day. So it's like, it just never stays at five. You're never satisfied. So I feel like try to find a way to be content with what you have. Like seriously, just be like, you know, this is good. This is really good. I'm happy with my chickens. I love my chickens. I don't need any more. I'm very happy with my chickens. Yes, I'm keeping my chickens. That's it. I don't need any more. Yep, just gonna love them to death. Just love my chickens. And that's it. And this here will just go away. This this feeling victimized, feeling imprisoned. I had a big strong message this week about being happy, joyous, free, feeling like we have all the accolades and the awards and the the satisfied customers <laughs> feeling happy with ourselves feeling like we are worthy and we are blessed because we really are it's all in our attitude really it's just how we see ourselves it's all about the positive thinking you, like these are so contrasting here like you just can't be these two things at the same time be completely joyous you know um, I mean you can have this, but you got to turn this around. Or you could do, be this and some days be that. 
but you can't be these simultaneously because then you're a psychopath <laughs> seriously like when you get down then you just kind of like turn that frown upside down girl so you know i feel like that's a message that's a message for this week just try to find it's all about kind of just make it a gratitude list you know seriously it's all about like waking up and making that gratitude list for the week and then just do it once and then read it for the rest of the week to remind yourself you know all right let's do a couple more let's see what else comes up for the week ahead okay three of cups oh Oh, okay. So I see like a little bit of time being spent with someone this week that does come to an end. Someone has to go home. Could be you or another person has to go home. So if you've had visitors, if you've had company, or if you've been visiting or spending time with someone, um, and there's definitely a departure and a little bit of sadness because someone, because there's a departure. Okay. Um, looks like it's kind of a cut short kind of thing. Yeah. So that might be coming up this week. Um, a little bit of sadness. I mean, I don't, it's not long-term grief or anything, you know, after the Five of Cups comes the Six of Cups. So there will be a little bit of communication back and forth afterwards. Um, but I feel like there's this, I'm going to miss you kind of energy, you know, after having some time together. Or you might be getting together with someone this week, spending some time together um, after a period of not seeing each other. Um, getting together because of missing each other, you know, I mean, but it's It's like temporary, you know coming together and then Parting, you know, th so there's like this was a parting period and then coming together and then parting again um, Two people really missing each other a lot um, Maybe there's distance there's travel, maybe there's distance between the two of you. It's a little tough because I feel like this distance between two people makes it really hard because these two people really enjoy each other and want to spend more time together. Um, but, you know, there will be more time being spent together for sure. There will be more travel days to come. Just going to take a little while. Let's see what your overall message, like to you guys get to that place. Let's see what your overall message. I feel like whoever, if somebody is leaving, like if when you guys part, the other person misses you terribly as well. It's not just, you know, you, definitely the other person. Oh, okay. Your overall message is the six of cups here. So... This isn't, I was going to say, it's not an energy of being like stuck in the past, but it is an energy of keeping memories, fond memories close to your heart, thinking positively about the past memories, right? This week, not dwelling on the negative, being stuck and dwelling too hard and too long on the past. I feel like when we dwell too much on the past, we tend to like depression sets in. I feel like if there's going to be any thinking or not dwelling, don't dwell on the past. Dwelling is not healthy. Um, I think if you allow past memories to come up, let them be positive. Think about them, reflect, and then let them be. But don't dwell because dwelling can cause depression. Yes, because then the missing and the remorse and... and tends to set in like it's just not healthy we were not meant to live in the past that's why our memories aren't always at the forefront of our brains um so this you know in the re in the reverse this would be dwelling and that would not be good so it's in the upright so this is a call for you to focus on 
not dwelling, <laughs> but to think about the your childhood, to think about when those when childhood memories come up, when memories of times of good, good times have come up, to recall and and let them come and and reflect on them as positive times if they were positive don't dwell on the negative but if they were positive to think about those times and then let them go try to have fond memories or try to only think of the fun memories and also um if there's children around this week you might even be seeing a lot of children on monday if there's trick-or-treating um enjoy the time with the children yeah this week as well this was such a sweet <laughs> message for the week nothing major nothing except for that devil energy that you're gonna have to like push back on at the beginning of the week or at least the beginning of the reading nothing major let's just get a charm i just want to throw a charm your way and see what comes up oh okay all right so you have at first, I thought, it, it, at first, when I pulled the charm out, it, I pulled it out upside down. I thought it was a pot. I thought it was a pot leaf. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not. It's a palm tree. So, however you want to look at it. <laughs> can you see it? Okay. So it's a palm tree. So that might be significant for you, palm tree. Maybe you live in an area where there's palm trees. Or you know of someone who does. Or, yeah, palm tree is significant for someone this week. Or in the sense that it means something for you, which means that this reading would be significant for you for some reason. Something in it would be very significant for you. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of coconuts on this palm tree, so maybe you like coconuts. <laughs> maybe you'll see a kid trick-or-treating or at a costume parade, Halloween parade, dressed as a palm tree. I don't know why, but that would be cute. If you do, oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, this is specifically for you. All right, very cute reading. Happy Halloween, you guys. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and uh, yeah, take care. Love you. Bye. Yeah.